What's going on guys, today we're going to be showing you how to install some recessed lighting. So this is a very quick and easy video. So we're going to go and splice the cable. We already have a pre-installed uh, little setup here. So we're just going to be doing, doing an easy swap, but you're going to go and use the cables that are in, in the junction box. You're going to wire it up, basically twist it, and then use the wire nut on top of it. And you're going to connect it accordingly. It's very simple. It's just color to color. It does have some friction brackets on the side. So you basically it'll easily hook up on the top. But you're going to go and do that. Now this does come with four lights itself. I forgot to do an unboxing of it. But it comes with four lights and four junction boxes. We're going to go and show you how to install this. So on the left and the right you do have two places you can actually push up. And you can actually feed the cables through. And that's what we're going to do. We're also going to show you another installation method on how you can use this also if you decide to use it a different way if you decide to mount it in the same exact scenario so pushing it in takes about five minutes for each of these it doesn't really take that long it's very flush it's very minimal and it looks really good like even if you don't use the rgb it still looks flush and still very very nice it does have two mounting holes on the left and the right so you can use either one or both they're not that heavy so you can easily just use one i use one screw here and it does fit really really well as you can see right there the screws right there and it's actually able to hold and it just helps with the weight not to push onto those brackets so it's very simple to actually install this took about 15 to 20 minutes to install all of them all four of them and it was really really quick and easy swap we're gonna go do the rest of these real here real quick and we're gonna go and show you the old gen and the new gen so it's very very flush compared to the old gen um, it's just way better in my opinion. So setting it up, it's going to be flashing from when you first turn it on and, uh, to actually pair it, you're going to have to download the Tuya app and set it up as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modeled version. So you're going to have to be on the 2.4 gigahertz model and make sure you have Bluetooth on. Otherwise this will not work. Um, the whole installation process took about 30 minutes, which is longer than the actual setting up, which is kind of sucks. It sucks really just a lot. But once you actually do have it on, these are amazing. So as, as you can see right here, it's way brighter than the previous generation. This has a different te Kelvin temperatures and it's really easy to actually use any of the modes. It was hard to actually learn how to group them, but they're actually really easy once you get the use to it. You can actually change all the colors, all the Kelvin temperatures, everything in the app. And you can also set this up with your Amazon or Google Assistant and you can actually talk to them from there and you can do that. But don't use a dimmer switch. It does not work with the dimmer switch. If you have a dimmer switch and you use it, it won't, it will basically mess it up. So don't use that. It has a bunch of different stuff here that as you can see in the app that I'm showing you here. Uh, it's just really, really nice. So I really like the app. It's fairly easy to use and it has a bunch of colors. So as you can see, you have the color wheel with 16.9 different million different colors, just millions of millions of different colors that you can actually choose from. You can save them as a preset and you can actually use them for over and over. You have different modes here that will cycle through. So right now it's cycling through different colors and it's really, really nice to actually be able to use this. Once again, this is only 120 to $30. It's not that expensive considering that it's $40 a piece. And uh, it's 15 watts per everything like that. And I think it's 6,000 lumens, I'm pretty sure. But it's really, really nice. You can see all the different Kelvin temperatures and everything else like that on here. It's because from cool white all the way to warm light, it looks really, really good when it does that. We're going to go and show you the music mode as well in here. So uh, it does have multiple different modes and we're going to go and show you in right now. Yeah, these are easily the coolest lights that I've actually installed. This is my first time actually trying to do this, something like this. I didn't actually personally install it, my Theo and Thea did actually let me borrow the house for this video, which is nice of them. So thank shout out to you guys. Uh, but it, they look really, really good. So it's very nice to actually have these lights, uh, red, green, blue, everything else like that. Millions of different colors. And it's just really, really simple to actually set up once you get the hang of it. Uh, hopefully they're able to use the Amazon, their Amazon assistant with it. 
and uh, hopefully it just works out well. So if you guys want to check out more videos just like this, I have more videos on my channel and you guys can check them all out. I'll see you guys in the next one and we out.